Hello my friends, welcome back to Apple Zen Tiara. So today I wanted to do sort of a different kind of style video. As you can see, I'm here at home, I'm filming <laughs> in my gaming space, my office, my Twitch setup, <laughs> kind of different for me. Um, but today I wanted to do a very highly requested video and that is my all about class dojo video. So if you wanna know what I do with class dojo, how I use it, how I incorporate rewards, how I involve parents, then keep on watching. So today I wanted to sit down and just chat with you guys about Class Dojo, show you how I do uh, Class Dojo in my classroom, and then show you my uh, Class Dojo store and how I run it. So I'm just gonna really quickly pull up my screen and I might actually move myself a little out of the way and get myself a little bit smaller here. So just hang tight with me. I'm still learning all the tricks of the trade. Um, here we go. Okay, so you can still see me here in the corner, um, but basically what I've done is I've created a model class. So um, to create a class on Dojo, you just have to create an account um, and then create a class. So we're gonna just add a couple of students here. We're gonna do Charlotte. Happy. Another student. Jack Valdez. Okay. So we're going to add Jack into my class. And so uh, Class Dojo has this really cool new feature where um, the students have little eggs on their accounts and they don't actually hatch the eggs until they log in as a student, which is really cool. So um, throughout the week, let's see, I'm going to actually edit my skills, you can import from any class, and then same for needs work. Okay, so I've imported my skills from another class, which is really nice because then you don't have to go in and re-add all of the skills. So these are some of the skills that my team and I use to give the points to students and take them. Um, things like Mast Hero, we don't really use anymore, but it's still there, that's just from when we were, or, Last year when everyone had to be masked, um, if they were doing a good job keeping their mask on, we would give them a point, just kind of stuff like that. Staying distant. Um, so we have Tech Whiz, Super Silent. The Magic Five is really cool to give them when they like win a game. We also have Winner for like individual wins, um, being on task, being ready for class, being responsible, having a super line. I give students points for being ready for it if I call on them and they are able to answer or respond. Um, and then you can also take them away for various things, um, doing, being too close, taking their mask off, yelling out, not using tech appropriately, not keeping hands to self. You guys get it. So hopefully by now you guys have used Class Dojo and you're just really wanting to see how we use it um, for reward systems. So um, what I do with my students is they start at zero and then I start giving them points. Now my teammates also use this, so they're earning points and getting taken points, not very often, from three different teachers. So all three of us have access to this Dojo account, to these Dojo classrooms. We all have our own set of messages that we can send parents. We can't see each other's messages. When we send them, parents only see from their one teacher. Now the way you do that is you can add a co-teacher and then you can invite whatever teachers are at your school, they get the notification and then you can actually share the students, which is a really amazing feature, especially if you're like me and you're departmentalized teaching. So anyway, let's just say that Charlotte gets a bunch of points and for doing absolutely nothing. Now, I don't ever reset my students' points, and that is because every Wednesday, we do a dojo store. And the dojo store is located in my virtual classroom. And so this is what my virtual classroom looks like. This is the place where I send all my students to go to when they're done with their assignments and they have nothing else to do. They can go on Epic, they can go on Pinna, Code. Now these um, codes are kind of, this one especially is inactive, but they can go on Google Earth, uh, Storyboard, just all of the websites that are pre-approved, I can send them there. Anyway, my Dojo store is located here in the top right corner. So this website's kind of like a everything in one spot. Um, I actually need to edit this because I need to add an, uh, a Dojo Points uh, prize. But essentially what I've done is I have created 
different point scales. So for five points, students can buy a piece of candy or a positive note home. So if you guys watched my haul a few weeks ago, I did buy those really cool postcards and those are what I will write positive notes home on. Um, and you'll notice that there's a couple of little labels. So VNP just means Valdez and Perry, which means myself and my teammate, we both offer that prize. If it says V, or P, that just means that it's only Valdez or only Perry. And then if there's no label on it, that means that all three of us will accept that reward. So let's just say a student really wants a positive note home from their math teacher because they've been struggling in math and mom's kind of mad at them because they're not doing well. Well, they can get a positive note home from their math teacher. Maybe they did something really great that day in math and they really want to show it off. Uh, for eight points, they can chew gum in class. They have to bring their own. Uh, bring a reading buddy. There's pillows that we have that they can use under their seat or on their seat, take their shoes off. Um, 10 points, they can change their dojo monster, which is something that you, the teacher, would need to do um, using a pen in class instead of a pencil. Now, I'm going to be adding a prize box to this. I think I'm going to do 12 points. Actually, maybe we'll do 15 just to make it a little bit more pricey. But for 12 points, they can be the DJ for the day. So as you can see, this is just my prize. Um, free drawing time and free tech time. This is when they're done with their assignment early. They've done a really nice job. We've checked them already. And they don't wanna go in virtual classroom, but they wanna pull their phone or their tablet out. They can do that for 10 minutes if they use this reward. They can also draw for 10 minutes if they use that reward. So these are kind of like the I'm done, I wanna do something else rewards. Um, DJ for the day, obviously if we're doing like a whole group lesson, they can't use that. But if it's like an independent time or during like projects or stations, they can choose music for the day. Um, a free assignment, this one is one of the favorites. They like to save up for this. Now this one is just a free assignment. So let's say we're doing this activity. They don't wanna fill out the lab sheet. Sure, okay, you don't have to fill out the lab sheet. Tell me exactly what I wanna know. You don't have to fill out the sheet and you get the credit for it. Obviously, if it's like an assessment or something like that, it's off the table. But if it's just a quick little assignment or task, they can totally cash in and not have to do it. Uh, show and tell speaks for itself. Flexible seats, there are a ton of different spots in the room they can choose from uh, lunch bunch those are on Fridays and they get to pick a friend oh see prize box I put it in for 30 okay so it is in there um, stealing a job assistance I don't do classroom jobs I have two assistants per quarter they do everything um, and you can steal the assistance job for the day rat time this is a high seller I did have to make it 30 points because kids were buying it off the charts and I wanted to make it more of a desirable prize, something they had to work really hard for. So it is 30 points this year. And then for 50 points, coffee with Ms. Valdez on Wednesday mornings or a soda with Mr. Cummings at lunch, I bring them Starbucks. Basically, it's just like a tall frappuccino or like pink drink or something from Starbucks that they can um, enjoy with me in the morning. So obviously, if you create your own dojo store, um, you can add whatever prizes that fit your students wants and needs so for my dojo store i send out a weekly form on wednesday morning this is the first thing that they do when they come to my class on wednesday morning wednesdays are half days so it's kind of like an asynchronous day already basically they fill in their name so i would be um, charlotte and then they tell me what homeroom they're in this just helps to organize the responses and then how many points are they spending? Separate the point amounts with commas if you're buying more than one thing. So let's say I want candy and to take off my shoes. I would put five comma eight. And then down here I would put candy comma shoes off. So then they click submit and then the dojo requests come in. My student assistants will then come back, go through the dojo store requests, write out tickets, and then they give them to the students. So um, this has gone super smoothly forever. Now I do have a few rules um, with my dojo store. First of all, students may only shop on Wednesday. If you're absent, too bad. Don't be absent. Now I know that that's kind of a controversial thing, 
But for me, if I don't make it just Wednesdays, I'll have kids who are absent trying to buy things right in the middle of my lesson on Thursday, right in the middle of my lesson Friday. They're trying to buy things here and there all around the square. And so Wednesday is the only day you can shop. They understand if they're absent Wednesday that they do have to wait till the next week to purchase anything. Okay, so then they get their little ticket, which is essentially just like a flash card um, with little dojo monsters. It's just a little thing that I made um, on PowerPoint. Like I just threw in a couple of little dojo monsters on a square and print them out. Um, I put their name on the card and then I write the prizes on there. So as they use them, I scratch them off with a pen. The prizes are written in pen so they can't erase and like rewrite anything. Um, and in the mornings during class, during my warm up time, because I do give them a 10 minute warm up, the beginning of every class period, so that I can situate students who are doing something, who are warming up, who are finishing up absent work, and who want to use a dojo ticket. So all they do is hold their ticket in the air, I come around and acknowledge them. If it's a piece of candy, I send them back to the candy jar. Um, if it's flexible seating, I can acknowledge that. So I do all of the acknowledging of the dojo tickets during my first 10 minutes of class, during my warm-up period. That's when students are allowed to ask to use the bathroom, that's when they're allowed to go get their drinks filled, um, and they have silent signals that they show me so that while everybody else is warming up, they are getting their things um, situated and, and under control before I start my lesson, because I do have a 90-minute block, and so I take 10 minutes out of the beginning to fix to fix and get everything situated so that during my 80 minutes of class, I can just focus on learning. So that is my dojo store. And I hope that I answered all of your questions, as many questions as I could. Um, dojo is an amazing tool. Um, you can send messages to families. You can get students involved. They can post pictures. There's little lessons, they can turn things in. I mean, Dojo has really evolved in the last few years, so if you're not using Dojo, I highly recommend that you try. I personally like it better than Remind even, for especially younger students, um, because I can see when parents have seen my messages, they can respond quickly, everything is translated if there's any sort of language um, barrier between a parent and I. Um, and so I really do love Class Jojo. It is an amazing, amazing tool. Um, so yeah, hopefully I helped you guys with that and gave you some ideas for your Dojo store. By the way, this is just a Google website. So um, when you sign in for a Google account, all you do is scroll down and go to um, Sites, which is not here. Oh, right there. So it's this little symbol right here, Google Sites and then you can just create whatever type of website you want. These are all just pictures I found online. Obviously these are Bitmojis and then more online pictures. So, um, and then yeah, my virtual classroom, same thing, just pulled in the label from each website and it's a one-stop shop. So anyway, hopefully this video was informative and helpful and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.